where you can learn passively. Establish a routine. Make yourself a study plan. Decide how much time a week you are going to spend studying and stick to it. Tell your family and friends about your study plan. Get them to push you to study and also don't let them interrupt you. When you learn a new word, think of all its other forms. For example, adjective, beautiful, noun, beauty, adverb, beautifully. Practice the four core skills, improving your writing, reading and listening skills. Keep a notebook of new words you learn. Plan to take a test. You'll find that you work harder when you need to study for something. Children's books have easier words and are a good alternative to graded readers. Use English whenever you can. It's as simple as that. The most natural way to learn grammar is through talking. Procrastination can stop you from being successful. To stop procrastinating, it's important you understand if your procrastinating is to avoid studying, or if it is your bad habit. If your English is still basic or lower intermediate, then don't try to read the New York Times yet. It will only discourage you. Instead, look at resources such as VOA Special English News where you can listen to news stories in clear, slow English. If you're an intermediate English speaker, reading children's storybooks or Wikipedia in simple English might make you feel confident if you understand every word. Why not start an online blog and share your writings with the world? Sing your heart out. Show the world your beautiful voice. Learn English songs and sing along with them to improve fluency and intonation. Anyone for karaoke? Get a pen friend or use chat rooms, forums and community sites. If you can't speak to someone in English, this is the next best thing. Make sure everything you do in your English studies brings you closer to your goal. If your goal is to talk with native English speakers about films, then watch English films. If you want to pass an English exam so you can study abroad, get a tutor who's qualified to prepare you for that exam. Nobody likes to hear their own voice, but be brave and try it. Record your voice and listen to your pronunciation and intonation. It will help you to identify your problem areas. Ask your helpful teacher if you can record his lesson. This is a great way to review. You can also listen to your teacher's speaking speed and intonation. Find English resources that match your goal. Make sure everything you do in your English studies brings you closer to your goal. Carry cue cards with you. These are small cards which you can write new words on. You can pull them out and look at them whenever you a free minute. Use post-it notes and stick them around your home. You can use them to label things. Stick one on your pet dog. 
Be the person to start conversations in English. Try to keep the conversations moving and use listening words. Really? Go on. What happened then? Don't wait for others to speak to you. Get in there. Make use of the internet. It's full of resources to help you learn. Enjoy it.